Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of estimation with four operations. This is standard 5.3a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 2 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Mr. Marcus has 123 eggs, so let me circle that, that's going to be important. And he put 32 more cartons of eggs, and each carton, each carton contained 18 eggs. Which of these is the best estimate? So that's why all of our answers are rounded to the nearest hundred place of eggs he now has in his refrigerator. So let me see, he's got a fridge. So let me just draw draw my little fridge here and let's say that he already has uh, 123 inside then he's gonna bring in some cartons and each carton has got 18 eggs so he's just gonna bring in these cartons and I'm just gonna stop drawing because that would take too long I'm gonna say there are 32 of those cartons so 32 cartons 18 eggs each all going into my refrigerator that already had 123 eggs so how do I estimate that well first let's turn this into now we have a picture here let's turn this into an equation so what I'm looking for is 123 eggs plus my new cartons of eggs so I'm gonna say 32 times 18. We don't really need the parentheses using order of operations, but it just looks a little bit better. I like like that. Equals, and this is going to be eggs. Now, we are needing to round. So, let's just round. Let's say 123. We're going to round it to the hundreds place. So let's just say that's 100. Let's go to the largest place value. We're going to round the 32 to the tens place, so that's 30. We're going to round our 18 up to the tens place, that's going to be 20. So let's see what that looks like. So order of operations, we're going to use our multiplication first. So 30 times 20. Now there's two ways to do this. One, we can just do regular old 2 by 2 multiplication if we want to. So I'll show you that first, then I'll show you the shortcut. So we've got 0, we've got 6. So that's 600. The shortcut here is since we have zeros, what we could do is we can just multiply our two numbers that are not 0 together, 6, and then add the zeros that you see, 600. Either way, it gets you 600. So 600 right here plus this 100, looks like it's going to be around 700, so H. But we want to be sure. So let's do, let's do the actual, let's see how close we were, because I did round um, to the tens and to the hundreds place, so I could be way off. So let's see, let's start with our multiplication first, 32 times 18, so that's going to be 16. 24, 25, and let's see, let's do that, and then that's 32, multiplying by 1, it's always good, nice and easy, so I've got 6, I've got 7, and I've got 5, so 576, which remember I rounded to 600, so if I was rounding to the hundreds place that would work, um, to the tens place it's actually 580 so that was kind of close-ish close-ish now what we need to do is we need to add our 123 back in Let's see what the actual answer is 123 that's going to be 9 9 look at that holy cow 700 was the estimated answer we got 699 as the real answer that is literally one away so yes, 700 is our good answer. We're going to go with H.